It's going to be another windy day today. Thank you for tuning in to NewsLink Indiana Weather. I am weather forecaster Chris Guevara. And while we saw crazy wind speeds yesterday, we're not going to be seeing that for today, but we're still going to be on the breezy side. Now, as we're moving in later today, this is where we're going to see even more gusty winds. Check this out. 34 miles per hour here in Muncie, 31 down in Indianapolis. This is going to persist throughout the rest of the evening, even into tonight, into your morning commute tomorrow. Now, looking at current wind speeds, now these are sustained wind speeds. Look at this, 17 miles per hour here in Muncie, 21 down in Indianapolis. And when you're factoring a lot of these higher wind speeds with these cooler temperatures, you're going to have temperatures feel a lot cooler than what they already are. Check out some of these wind chill temperatures. Right now, 36 degrees here in Muncie, 38 down in Anderson. And we're going to be sitting around the upper 30s to maybe even reach the lower 40s for most of these wind chills. But this is going to definitely be a very chilly next couple of days. Now, right now, look at our current temperatures. We're going to be, we're currently at 49 degrees, but factoring in that wind at 17 miles per hour, it's definitely feeling like it's more down into the lower 40s. And we're going to see a lot of these current temperatures throughout central Indiana, not factoring in any type of wind. Right now, 51 in Indianapolis, 46 for you folks up in Kokomo, 51 for you folks in Lafayette. Now dipping down south, we are going to be still tracking another hurricane, Hurricane Iota, a rare Category 5 hurricane for the month of November. Yes, it is rare because the last time we had a Category 5 hurricane for this month was back in 1932. Currently 160 miles per hour, expected to make landfall later today in Nicaragua, taking almost the same track as Hurricane Ada just two weeks ago, and Ada was a Category 4 hurricane. Iota already adds on to the record-breaking tropical storm list that we've had this year alone during the Atlantic hurricane season at 30 right now, previous record set back in 2005, which was 28. Iota does not have any impacts for the United States, so we do not have to worry about that but we do have to worry about a lot of these cooler temperatures for tonight. 31 degrees, wind still staying around 10 to 15 and still having those gusty winds. Clouds still move in the area. We still get a cloudy start and even chilly start to the day tomorrow morning. 35 degrees, still cloudy skies, but then we eventually start clearing up later throughout the day. Now check out this precision cast because there's something else on here besides just the clouds. By your morning commute tomorrow, yes, we are tracking some snow moving into the area. Now, this is going to be expecting just to be a few flurries. Don't expect any type of significant accumulation with the snowfall. Eventually, this will move out of the area, and then we bring back the sunny skies that we all know and love. Now, we are going to be having a chilly start for the next couple of days. But looking into the mid seven day forecast, we are tracking something else as well. We stay in the mid to upper 40s through Tuesday and Wednesday, but look at Thursday through Saturday. Temperatures reach the lower 60s by the weekend. Clouds start moving into the area, and then we start ending off the week with a few rain showers start moving back in. Temperatures drop back down into the upper 50s. If you guys have any more questions, please follow us on NOI Weather on Twitter.